So, how do you feel, body wise? I'm um, pretty good. Um, it's been it's been a short prep, so obviously not rebuilding Rome coming off Kona. I had, as I said, like two easy weeks and then a very short Ironman prep. Uh, it's it's been really good, and I'm feeling also quite fresh before Kona coming from Dallas, and like it's much more intense. Uh, here I really had time to recover and freshen up quite a bit, so also with less load coming into it and I think maybe that's actually a really good thing. You told me you feel better than Kona. <laughs> yeah, well, it's. I think it's always like that also with the short course races <laughs> that you, you do the big one, you do the A race and then you have another one coming later and you actually end up yeah. almost fitter for the second one that you kind of just take as you roll with it. So. Fingers crossed that's going to be this one as well. So what have you been up to today? <laughs> first day in Cosima. So first we had like t two travel days, which is kind of nice with the layer in Miami. Uh, and now we arrived in the early afternoon yesterday. So today we had uh, one lap of the island on the bike, starting around 7.38. And then we ran for 40 minutes. And it's officially really, oh. really warm. <laughs> uh, so I'm running now at like I said 10, 11. Uh, there's a little bit of wind. There's a headwind on the bike coming back on the far side of the island, and there's a headwind out on the run course. And then you turn around and you think like it's going to be nice to come back with a tailwind, but then the heat like really, really hits you. Um, so it's, it's going to be an interesting race. Uh, on the weather forecast, it looks like it's going to be a little bit cooler come race day, and maybe some rain. Uh, but the way it is now, it's like it's definitely like up to the level of Dallas and Kona, <laughs> both of them. So it's gonna be a, a tough one. Thursday, what session? So I had my uh, one of my last runs, basically a little preload run with some uh, tempo efforts in there. Four times two minutes, two minutes float in between. Um, just enjoying testing out the shoes, the elastic laces. Uh, just get the legs, the feeling, not putting too much emotion into the run, just doing it without trying to feel and, and uh, figure out how my body's responding. But in, in general, it feels pretty good and it's super nice to be here. The humidity is insane. Like you're standing still, you can just feel it's like not ripping, but like flooding down your body. Uh, but it feels much better today than two days ago. So slowly adjusting to the heat here. So what, what do you know about the course? It's super flat, it's very warm, humid, it's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, obviously the course is uh, flat. Uh, I, I thought it would be fast, but coming here and riding it, it's actually like, it's, it's not that fast. This rim is straightforward, is A to B, uh, and apparently there's a bit of a down current, so it's a fast swim. Not necessarily a good thing for me, it would have been better with a longer swim. Um, the bike is three laps around the island, with the exposed part being as the wind has been so far, coming into the headwind. Uh, so it's really slow. Riding in my aero bars on an easy training ride, you, I didn't hit 30 k per hour, it was below 30 k per hour. So it's, it is really slow. Um, and the easy fast bit is like all covered in the forest, so you don't really get the benefit of the tailwind. The run is three loops, uh, out and back, straightforward, nothing mm. fancy. It's going to be a bit of a mental challenge. It's going to be hot. Uh, it's quite like contained. You have forest and buildings, so I think the heat is really going to kind of simmer down on the on the road. Um, and a lot of part like there's not much happening, so it's just going to be ticking off <laughs> every every lap and every k bit by bit. Cool. Enjoy then. Yeah, we'll be Rock fun. on! <laughs> Let's go! So what's the plans after the race? Uh, once you recovered with... The with, most uh, important what part. Do you, what do you recover with? <laughs> so we have, we have booked a table uh, at a nice little beautiful bar restaurant at the run course to watch like the 7, 8 p.m. runners. To cheer on them. To cheer on them. Yeah. And then we're moving to a really nice hotel on Monday for two days of vacation before flying back to Miami one night and then back to Stockholm. So and then it's off-season for you. And then it's off-season from Sunday 
roughly eight and a half hours after 7 a.m. on Sunday, it's yeah. uh, officially off season. Then starts. your ski season starts. The ski season starts. <laughs> <laughs> so, rumors has it that you got an offer from a ski team. Yes, <laughs> for the Visma Ski Classics. Yeah. Um, More on that later. <laughs> More on that later. My response to the offer was like, have you ever watched me ski? Uh, obviously they haven't, but they said there's some good uh, <laughs> ski coaches, technical ski coaches around. I think you should go for it. I like. What can go wrong? I, I do like to push my limits and, and try new stuff, but I'm also aware of kind of my limitations <laughs> as an athlete. You have to I think be open. That would be like pushing, pushing. The boundaries of my a lot of people like to. like to see this. I think <laughs> that's a, that's a whole new YouTube series. Vamos, vamos, <laughs> ciao. Uh, until after, we'll we'll do another uh, uh, recap. I think after the race, uh, if if Lisa is still talkable. Yes. Otherwise, yeah, just yeah. Otherwise, just follow uh, Lisa's account where I, Kalle, will be doing some updates uh, during race day. So. See you later. See ya. Ciao.